So I just want to so talk about people getting sort of uh, type going outside of their role variants. Mm. Uh, so we don't get into the trap of because Kersey never said that people can only do that that thing, mm -hmm. but their approach is typical. Um, so uh, Imogen, oh, I almost said the surname. Imogen, ISFP resembler. Um, she did technical art, and her brother also did art, and she types her. Uh, that is very much like ISTJ and she talked about the difference in their approach to art and his would be a lot more by the book so that then brings me to the art versus craft debate and there's a really good book to read not before story by Robert McKee it has to be read afterwards it has to be read afterwards and that is this really good book by <laughs> Stephen Halliwell called Aristotle's Poetics, not the Poetics of Aristotle. That's a different book by the same author. Look at that cranium on there. <laughs> Look at that cranium. All right. So this whole thing about techni and from where we get where following reasoned procedures to achieve a result learning the craft so you can see there how the artisan temperament naturally they would want to improvise more but as they but also they're going to go to art college and they're going to learn the technique as well so mate so so probably like this ah, I, i've got the perfect thing for summing it up and it was something that pat patterson came up with and he was talking about the uh, songwriter. There are no rules, only tools. There's your mindset of an artisan, and a utilitarian mindset. There are no rules, only tools. Hmm. And in Kretschmann, when he talked about the schizo times, he listed classicists amongst the artists. So those that really want to emulate what has come before, to emulate the masters, that's more coming from the guardian mindset of that's the standard operating procedure that's the that's the ideal to achieve whereas artisans and those that are a little bit more fourish want to have their own individual artistic expression so you can see how these other factors come in so you can have an istj craftsperson but and an istp craftsperson but they're going to be slightly different in their motivations and so the istj will be more craft based and the uh, the ISTP will be the ISTP will be more. There are no rules, only tools. Thing, where the techniques are used as a tool, whereas ISTJ they're more following the techniques. Yes. In themselves. Yes, and about this uh, friend, I have said about him that his technique is so polished that his results look like art, but he would never ever ever call himself an artist if you propose that what he was doing was art sometimes i see it that way say no like i'm not an artist call him a craftsman how about craftsman oh, he is a wonderful craftsman yeah absolutely wonderful yeah so there you go i mean you could actually have an artisan guardian in that you could have somebody who's guardian temperament in an artisan job but they do it <laughs> in a very guardian way yes so it's not just so it's that that old song it's not what you do it's the way that you do it so that that's a way to look at uh, so i don't know how an itp would supervise but that's a way to look at it not just what they do but how they do it that, that, that sort of get those distinctions between type and role variants so that people don't fall uh suspect to uh stereotypes mm -hmm. uh Okay, notice in the graph above that logistics 